Could you speak about the nude Mona Lisa and how important it is in the in the general uh, vision of the artist? The nude Mona Lisa is probably one of the most mysterious work uh, invented by Leonardo da Vinci. We don't have a lot of information about that uh, composition, but we know that it was very famous. We know about 20 drawings and paintings uh, reproducing that composition of the nude uh, Mona Lisa. Leonardo da Vinci probably painted it, invented that uh, composition in Rome when he was in Rome uh, about the end of his life between 1513 and 1516. And the new Mona Lisa is probably a composition of uh, Venus. She has the characteristic headdress of um, uh, Venus, mm -hmm. and uh, it's probably one of the mythological uh, paintings invented by Leonardo. You have to remember that Leonardo invented when he was a few years uh, before, when he was in Florence, he invented another uh, mythological composition, uh, a Leda. Uh, which was probably his first uh, mythological composition. He invented also an Hercules, so he was very interested by that uh, uh, theme uh, of mythological paintings. When one of, one of the first, he was really one of the first to invent such uh, uh, iconography, and uh, the new Mona Lisa has to be um, uh, interpreted like that, like a mythological painting of Venus. But you speak about Leonardo with no doubt, but it can be Leonardo in the studio, right? What do you think? So you, sometimes, you know, Leonardo invented some ideas, but we don't have any more, we don't have the original painting or drawing. So that's the, the point, that's the question with the new Mona Lisa. Do we have today an original work uh, showing the nude uh, Mona Lisa. We know about 20 paintings and drawings reproducing that image. Between all that, do we have an original? If we look at the paintings uh, still today, uh, uh, that we know today, we don't clearly we don't have any original painting. But there is one very interesting work, which is the cartoon uh, at the uh, Chateau uh, de Chantilly. At Chantilly, uh, we see that cartoon which, which has very interesting uh, elements. First, you can see in that uh, very big drawing, which was a cartoon, uh, some uh, traces of a left hand uh, draft man, uh, which was Leonardo. Leonardo always drawn with his left hand. So, the man who uh, drawn that. Uh, that uh, could cartoon, be him. It could be him. But something very interesting is that that cartoon does not exactly reproduce the image. When you see normally a copy, it's always reproduced precisely an idea. With that cartoon, this is different because you have what we call in Italian pentimenti changes, changes made uh, during the execution in the hand, in uh, the arm. Uh, he slightly changed his mind, so this is normally something which is uh, absolutely typical of a creation. Only the master do that kind of uh, changes in his works. So this is another argument to think that it could be really Leonardo. The problem of the cartoon in Chanty is that it has suffered a lot. It's an old drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, drawn with charcoal, so it's uh, something really uh, fragile. And so, unfortunately, some parts of the original uh, charcoal uh, disappeared and it was uh, redrawn by other hands. And because of that, when you look at it, you don't feel very comfortable because you, you, you feel that the, the white and the blacks are too hard and it, it doesn't look, uh, not always in all the parts, like a, something really uh, typical of Leonardo, uh, uh, how, because he was a great master, a, a, a great uh, a draftsman. But uh, and you, are you going to show it at the Louvre? So the Chateau de Chantilly can't lend any of his ah, of because the diplomat says that uh, when he gave his collection uh, to the Institut de France, he added that uh, no one of his works could travel out of the museum. Of course. Uh, merci.